him? Yeah. I know him. It's going to take a while. It happened years ago. Did you know there are three kind of aces? Those who seek strength, those who live for pride, and those who can read the tide of battle. Those are the three. And him? He was a fighter pilot they called Solo Wing Pixie. This man was his buddy. It was a cold and snowy day. And what is peace? Hello there guys, welcome to another video in which I'll be playing Ace Combat The Balkan War. This game is a game on the Playstation 2 that I played a lot when I was a young kid. And recently I bought some hardware and equipment that allowed me to hook up my Playstation to my computer monitor again. So I could play those video games and I'm gonna share those with you guys. Now as you can see this game is from 2006. So I played this game when I was about 8, 9, 10, 11 years old and I absolutely loved the game. Now I won't lie to you, I tried recording a video previously to this attempt but there were some problems with the audio and with the way the video was being encoded. Um, what I didn't realize is that PlayStation 2 or at least the PlayStation 2 outputs a interlaced video um, which means that you get horizontal lines in your video and it's ugly as fuck So I decided to go ahead and spend more time to re-record the episode Anyhow um, We have to create a new game unfortunately special new game even and we will select ace This is the most difficult difficulty on the game um, like I mentioned, I had to buy um, a special device that converts component output to HDMI so that I can hook up my PlayStation uh, to my HDMI monitor. Um, and after I did this, I played through the game two times already and I've played many more times through it when I was a little kid. But um, I played through it once on hard and once on expert and now we are going to play it through the game on ace difficulty Which is not going to be an easy task, but we are going to do so regardless um, Normal control settings and English subtitles. There we go Now I'm not sure how the recording is going to turn out, but we'll see Let's uh, listen to the cutscene here It's going to take a while you know there are three kind of aces 
those who seek strength, those who live for pride, and those who can read the tide of battle. Those are the three. And him? He was a true ace. He was a fighter pilot they called Solo Wing Pixie. That's the person we're seeing in the video right now, Solo Wing Pixie. So that's not us, we are Cypher. But you'll figure it out throughout the game. The Belkin War. And in that war was a pilot who trailed across the sky and disappeared from history. He was a lone mercenary who inspired both fear and admiration. He is the man I seek. And so, with the words of Solo Wing, the curtain rises. It was a cold and snowy day. A cold and snowy day, and that's where the game starts off. Glacial skies, the very first mission of Ace Combat Zero, the Belkin War. Um, yeah, I am quite excited for this playthrough, honestly. I don't really enjoy playing the games that came out last year that much, but I do still love playing old games, like retro games a lot. And mainly games from the PlayStation 2 and some old games on the computer as well, so... I think I might focus my channel around older retro style games again, because it honestly is what I enjoy doing most. And I know I haven't uploaded in a long while, but here we go. Anyhow, the mission. Um, we spawn over here and there's a group of bombers coming towards us and we have to take them out. So, let's do that shit. Okay. Um, we are going to use this beautiful example of an F-16C fighting Falcon. Just because I think the F-16 is a gorgeous aircraft and we're going to take the special skin for it. Um, obviously we want air-to-air -air missiles, we've got two types of bombs, or well, actually one bomb and one air-to-ground missile, but as we're fighting aircraft we need missiles, so let's take those and let's get started. Now, as I mentioned, um, I did buy this aircraft during my previous recording attempt already, so the F-16C, and I have a lot more aircraft as well that are better than the F-16 I suppose, but I just enjoy flying this aircraft a lot, so that's why I am using it. I mean, just look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. F-16 is probably one of my favorite aircraft ever. Uh, but yeah, okay, so if we look at the radar down below, we've got a group of bombers heading our way. So this is the entire map, and we've got a group of bombers heading our way. And we need to take them out, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I kind of want to play the game on a mercenary style, which means that you also have to kill all the innocent people in the game. But I'm not sure if that's the most fun way to do a playthrough, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this game on the nice style, and I'll play the game as a, as a mercenary some other time by myself. Um, for now, we're just going to focus that we want to win. Fire four missiles? I don't know. I don't think we did. Okay. I will take out all the green targets as well. I'm not going to rush through the game as I did during my last two, uh, two playthroughs. Those playthroughs you guys did not see, by the way, as I did them privately. Okay. Four missiles out. Two missiles out. There we go. Beautiful. Just look at this carnage that we we're committing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use our machine gun. Actually, nah, whatever. So, what I also want to do during this playthrough is, you can earn medals in this game. The more medals you get, the more awesome you are. And I want to try and get all of the medals. Now, I obviously won't be able to do that during this playthrough, because a lot of the medals require multiple playthroughs. Um, but I will try to get a long way with it. Okay, there is our enemies attack now. Um, I will try to get a long way with getting those medals. Now I've got a large chunk of them already, so 
that's a good thing I suppose, but there's still a few medals we need to get. And yeah, let's uh, focus on the gameplay for now and then I'll continue talking again. Um, let's give our wingman the permission to fly free and to engage whatever he wishes to engage. Okay, let's go for this ball, set missiles away, target down. There you go. Okay, did I'm... Whatever, let's take on this boy as well. That's gonna be a miss. Target neutralized. Okay. Ah, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Let's put him to call for me. Special weapons disabled. Um, my goal is to kill all ace pilots during this playthrough as well. So everyone, or every airplane has got a name tag below its airplane type. So here XB-70 is the type of aircraft and the um, ace tag or squadron tag or whatever is wall. I want to kill all people with an ace tag because that should allow me to get all the aircraft skins. I mean, this game got skins before it was even popular, before CSGO adopted skins for stuff. Um, anyhow. Okay, let's focus the last target. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit more of a detailed explanation about the targets as well. Um, green targets are targets you could kill, but you are not enforced to kill. And red targets are targets that you need to kill for your mission. So if you if, if you kill all red targets, then your mission is completed. Whereas if you kill all green targets, you still have to kill all of the red targets in order to complete your mission. Now I think I've introduced you guys enough to the game. So for now, we are just going to focus on the gameplay. And that was the first mission already. We successfully defended our airbase from a Belkin attack, which is amazing. Um, let's go to the debriefing and let's see how we did according to them. Rank S, which is good. We are still in the night mark, which is um, exactly what I want as well, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, let's save our game real quick. I always save my game after every match I play just because I don't want any data to be lost because that would be a shame. And let's go for the next mission. The Belkin War is shrouded in mystery. Let's look at the cutscene now, here. A decade after the peace accords, a portion of the records was finally released. I quickly got a hold of it. Wanting more details, I acquired information from unknown sources. There was a reason for my obsession. The roots of the war lie in the Belkin Federal Law Review that took place in 1988. Belka, suffering from economic strife, permitted its eastern territory to secede. And the Republic of Ustio was born. But Belka's economic troubles did not subside. Meanwhile, Taking advantage of the situation, the world superpower, Osea, continued to flourish. Amidst the economic panic, an extreme right-wing party took power within Belka, aiming to restore strength and stability to the nation. That's me while it's right in the background, so... <laughs> Quite funny. The discovery of natural resources in Ustia, Honestly, I'm not ashamed of my mother when she walks in. Neighbors. It's just normal life, you know. It was the beginning of the Belkin War. And yeah, that's how the Belkin War the came to exist. Each country fell quickly before the might of the legendary Belkin Air Force. In just a few days, they occupied all territories except for the mountain range. In response, the occupied Ustio government military placed all their hopes on a joint operation between Osea and the foreign mercenary forces. This, of course, can be found in any history book. But I noticed a strange similarity in the materials I gathered. There were several accounts about a mercenary, all followed by the code word, Demon. But most of the information was incomplete. Still, I was intrigued. I decided to pursue the history of the Balkan War through this mercenary. 
I was certain I would find something there. Would it be the hidden truth behind the war, or just another battlefield legend? I wasn't able to meet the mercenary himself. Actually, it's questionable if he ever did exist. But thanks to some old friends in the military, I was able to track down several individuals who knew him. Solo Wing is one such man. That's our wingman, as you probably know if you look at the last mission. Solo Wing Pixie, that's our wingman during this game, and he is gonna play a very important role throughout the game. But for now, let's focus on where we are. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. Okay. So we've got a mission, and you can read through the text if you want to. It comes down to the fact that we have to clear a path for our ground troops. So again, we spawn in the south, and we have to clear an entire road of enemy targets. And if we do that, then... Uh, then what? Well, then we complete the mission. <laughs> Okay, um, I will be taking long-range air-to-ground missiles. Um, yes, they are very heavy but very effective weapons. Um, good for, I believe, engagement from beyond 10 kilometers, if I'm correct. Now, I'm not sure if my game is set to miles and knots or if it's set to kilometers and meters per second. Um, I do know for a fact that lag and missiles are very long range. You can also see under my wings that, I, that they are very, very tall missiles. But before I use any missiles at all, I want to take out at least 50 ground targets with my machine gun. Or 50, well not 50, well a lot of ground targets. There's this medal I want to get in which you have to get a lot of ground kills using your machine gun. And I am gonna try to do that. Okay, it's one target. Two targets down, that was close. That tree almost would have gotten me. Okay, this is a very tough aircraft to fly. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna try to save the misses for now and to get as many gun kills as I can. And as you know, gun kills are obviously quite a bit. At a, a gun moved out of the way. Um, gun kills are obviously quite a lot harder to get than missile kills because you actually have to properly aim your gun. And with missiles, it's just if you aim approximately correctly, it is good enough. Okay, we've got a hit on him. Uh, that's an aircraft following me. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this aircraft out first. Um, F4Es. Uh, they're not that dangerous. F4Es are quite easy to take out, especially seeing the fact that we are in F16. Um, there we go. Now I need to properly aim. Neutralized. Perfect. That's good enough for me. I'm not going to kill neutral targets like I promised. Um, there's another F4E over there. I might use missiles on the aircraft because I don't think I have enough gun ammunition to take out 50 ground targets, if there are even 50 ground targets on this mission. Okay, another ground target over here. And he's down. Perfect. So far we're doing really well. Um, I want to take out the, uh, the A-10 Thunderbolt in a bit, also known as the Warthog. One of the most famous aircraft um, from the US military, I think. Okay, this should be a fairly easy kill. We almost rammed him, that would not have been nice. Um, I'm gonna ignore the F4E for now. Okay, we overshot our target, which is a AA gun yet again. How convenient. Um, this mission might take a little while purely because we're using machine guns only and it takes a lot of time, but I don't really care that much now. The game is about the fun after all and I enjoy doing this a lot, so that's the most important thing. 
just breached the sand barrier. Ooh, there's a sand there. We have to watch out for him. If we can get down on sight, there we go. Or if we can aim down on sight, that's the right way to say it. F15E and a Mirage 2000D. I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Um, and take out the targets over here first. We've got a tank on the bridge. Not sure how easily we can kill a tank with our machine gun. It should be possible, I suppose. Yep, yeah, that is definitely possible. And just to show you guys the power of the Lagum missile, look at this. Boom! Four Grand targets destroyed with one missile. But I am gonna save those because we, like I said, need to get gun kills for the medals. So, let's go ahead and engage those two aircraft over there as they are aces. Ooh, one of them is coming towards me. And he's down. Easy kill right there. What I noticed is that the AI gets more advanced throughout the game, which is quite cool, honestly. Oh, wait, okay. Let's take our time here. Yeah, Sam is locking on to us. Dead! Son of a bitch. Okay. Those Sams do not like us. Yeah, lock on to me. Good. Dear lord, those Sams are dangerous. Um, I'm just gonna skip those targets. I don't feel like getting shot down at the second mission already. And there's no need for us to take them out anyway. Um, did we take... Ah, there he is. I was gonna say, did we already take out the Mir 2000D? And I was pretty sure we didn't yet, so... Let's go after him, let's take him out. Okay. There we go. Beautiful shot. Let's just get our guy to attack air targets with his special weaponry. Okay, Sam destroyed. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, good. We do need to get we do need to keep track of the missiles that are flying towards us because they will kill us first shot and we don't want that to happen so um, we need to be somewhat careful when we go on our passes there we go Okay, that's a good pass. That's four targets in one pass. That's beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if we need to get 50 kills in one level with the machine gun or if we can do it through multiple levels. Because I'm pretty sure I already do have 50 machine gun kills throughout all the times I've played through the campaign. I don't know. We'll see about it. There's a lot of missiles being fired at us. Okay, beautiful. We are bringing very heavy casualties to them. Um, still more than enough machine gun left, so that's good. Sam down. Two Sam missiles being fired at us, but both are missed because they are shit at this game. Okay. We were not going to get him. At least I'm not going to risk getting him because uh, we might have crashed into the ground there. Okay. Let's do a looping. Straighten out and take him out again. There we go. Yeah, let's just ignore him. That would be best for now. Okay. There's one more red target remaining, so we're almost done with this mission. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out this last Sam over here, and then... Something that she really wants me to die. Okay. Fucking hell, man, that was close. There we go. Miss or miss missile completed? No, mission completed. That was a good mission! 
and I am pretty sure I did not use my machine gun this much before in a single mission. So it was pretty good and pretty cool. Um, we flew a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. I, I really think the F-16 is one of the prettiest aircraft out there right now. The F-35 looks kind of nice as well, but you know, I don't know, the F-16 holds something nostalgic to me. It's the plane that was like the plane back here in the Netherlands for the army, so it's pretty cool. Okay, our rank increased a heck of a lot. We finished the mission on rank S, which is very good as well. Uh, let's see if we got any medals. Nope. Okay. That is um, very interesting to say the least. Okay, save our file and let's see what we have to do. Um, actually, I'm going to end up the video right here and figure out why we did not get the medals um, in between. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And um, we're not going to take a look at the briefing right now. We'll do this some other time. Um, but like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, favoriting and sharing. And hopefully, see you next time.